Step into the world of the powerful and influential, where the residences of world leaders stand as symbols of prestige, power, and often controversy. From sprawling palaces to historic estates, these homes offer a glimpse into the lives of those who shape the course of nations. Welcome to a world where luxury knows no bounds. 1. China's Xi Jinping, Zhongnanhai. First on our list is the super-secret sanctuary of none other than President Xi Jinping, the magnificent Zhongnanhai complex, tucked away next to Beijing's sprawling forbidden city. This place is like discovery covering a hidden treasure. Originally built in 1421 as part of Beijing's imperial city, Zhongnanhai started as a humble imperial garden. But oh, how times have changed. With a royal makeover fit for a president, it's now the ultimate command center for the Chinese Communist Party and the central government. Hold on to your hats for some jaw-dropping stats about this place. Covering a mind-boggling 37 million square feet, Zhongnanhai is more than just big. It's a world unto itself. And get this, it's valued at an eye-popping 39 $9.8 billion hours. But Zhongnanhai isn't just about size and bling. It's the beating heart of political power, where President Xi and the Communist Party pull the strings. It's where decisions that shape the fate of a nation are made, and where history is written. And let's not forget about the rich history within those walls. During Chairman Mao Zedong's reign, the Library of Chrysanthemum Fragrance in his private residence was said to be his favorite spot. Former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger once described it as the retreat of a scholar, filled to the brim with manuscripts and books, a far cry from the audience room of a powerful leader. So, if you ever find yourself in Beijing, make sure to steal a glance at this mega complex. But remember, it's top secret, so don't expect to waltz right in. Instead, stand outside, gaze up, and soak in the awe-inspiring majesty of President Xi's lair, Zhongnanhai, where dreams and power collide in the most epic way imaginable. Two. France's Emmanuel Macron, Élysée Palace. Welcome to the illustrious Élysée Palace, the official residence of none other than French President Emmanuel Macron, the youngest in the country's history. Nestled on the prestigious Rue de Faubourg Saint-Honoré in Paris, this palace is like the French equivalent of Beverly Hills, but with a never-ending supply of baguettes and cheese. Oui, oui. Unlike other presidential residences, the Élysée Palace is super private, with foreign dignitaries often staying at the Luxe Hotel de Marigny rather than at the palace itself. It's like maintaining a veil of secrecy around this iconic symbol of French power and prestige. Now, let's talk about this palace's pedigree. It's not your average Joe, it's a piece of history dating back to the lavish 18th century when fancy wigs were all the rage. Designed by the renowned architect Armand Claude Mollet, Elysee Palace is the epitome of elegance and grandeur. Spanning a sprawling expanse of 118,000 square feet, this palace is valued at an eye-popping $1.8 billion. Talk about living in luxury. Step through those majestic doors, and you'll be greeted by a regal ambiance fit for a national leader. Sure, it might not boast the title of the largest official residence, but who needs size when you've got style? With 369 rooms spread over 11,000 square feet, each chamber is a masterpiece of intricate details and lavish splendor. Inside, it's like stepping into a fairy tale with mesmerizing interiors that wouldn't be out of place in a Harry Potter movie. And let's not forget about those enchanting ballrooms, where grand parties and epic dances unfold against a backdrop of opulence. But the magic doesn't end indoors. Step into the palace gardens, and you'll find yourself in a tranquil oasis amidst the city's hustle and bustle. With lush greenery, vibrant flowers, and serene fountains, it's the perfect escape from the bustling streets of Paris. Three. Italy's Giorgia Maloney Quirinal Palace. Next up, we have the Quirinal Palace in Rome, the official residence of Italy's leader while in office. Picture this. Nestled in the heart of Rome, this place is like a slice of history right out of a fairy tale. Originally a papal summer residence dating back to the 16th century, the Quirinal Palace has seen its fair share of VIP guests over the years. I'm talking about 30 popes, four kings, and 12 presidents. It's like a who's who of royalty and power, all under one magnificent roof. Now let's talk about value. Brace yourself for this one. According to the experts at Hatched, this historic estate is valued at a staggering 1.2 billion. Yep, you heard that right. But that's not all. This place is huge, covering around 1.2 million square feet. In fact, it's one of the largest palaces in the world. And with its prime location atop Quirinal Hill, the highest of Rome's seven hills, you're not just living in luxury, you're living in style. And here's the cherry on top, Prime Minister Georgia. Maloney doesn't just have one palace to call home. She has access to two other official residences as well. There's Villa Roseberry down in Naples, named after the 5th Earl of Roseberry, a former British Prime Minister. And then there's Castel Porciano, a sprawling country estate spanning over 14,922 acres on the outskirts of Rome. Talk about living the high life. 
4. Russia's Vladimir Putin Grand Kremlin Palace In the heart of Moscow, where history and power intertwine like an epic dance, stands Russia's grandest stage, the Kremlin. Welcome to the Kremlin, a fortress inside a city, a symbol of power and grandeur in the heart of Moscow. This vast complex is like a city within a city, boasting five palaces, four cathedrals, and even a helipad. Talk about luxury living. The Grand Kremlin Palace takes center stage as the main official residence of the Russian president. But this place isn't just a modern-day marvel. It's steeped in history, with roots dating back to the 2nd century BC. In its prime, the Kremlin was bustling with Soviet big shots, each one wielding authority from their official residences and offices. But fast forward to today, and you'll find a new VIP in town, none other than Russia's President Vladimir Putin. With its domed cathedrals, regal palaces, and a prime spot next to the Moscow River, it's no wonder Putin chose such a fancy address. But here's the kicker. The Kremlin isn't just reserved for the elite. It welcomes the public with open arms. Step inside, and you'll discover museums and cathedrals just waiting to be explored. And guess what? It's best buddies with Red Square, adding an extra layer of tourist magnetism to the mix. And let's talk accolades. This place is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognized for its jaw-dropping architecture and rich history. So, if you ever find yourself strolling the streets of Moscow, make sure to carve out some time for a visit to this regal wonderland, the Kremlin. It's where history, grandeur, and a touch of Putin magic come together for an unforgettable experience. 5. Russia's Vladimir Putin Black Sea Palace. While the Kremlin may be the symbol of Russian power, Putin has another symbol of opulence and authority in the form of his $1.4 billion Black Sea Palace a lavish estate that has sparked controversy and intrigue worldwide. This luxurious residence showcases Putin's extravagant taste and influence, further solidifying his status as one of the most powerful leaders in the world. Nestled on Cape Idokopas, overlooking the serene Black Sea, this mansion is the stuff of dreams and controversies alike. As we step into this sprawling 195 and 23 square foot estate, get ready to be wowed by its extravagant features. We are talking two helipads, because one is never enough, a gymnasium for those casual workout sessions, a greenhouse for tending to Putin's personal garden, an ice palace for spontaneous winter festivities, a chapel for those moments of divine inspiration, an amphitheater, a guest house for those rare visitors, a fuel station, and an arboretum. Because what's a palace without a touch of botanical charm? Crafted by the renowned Lanfranco Cirillo, the interior of this mansion is a testament to opulence. With a master bedroom spanning 2,800 square feet, a swimming pool, and spas for unwinding, it's like stepping into a palace from a fairy tale. But wait, there's more. There are saunas and Turkish baths for impromptu spa days, shops, and even a warehouse. And let's not forget the extensive wine cellar, because, hey, every palace needs one, right? In summary, Putin's palace is fit for a czar, leaving visitors in a state of of awe and inspiration. Whether it's the power of the presidency or the allure of luxury, Putin's residences are sure to captivate all who step foot inside. 6. Turkey's Recep Tayyip Erdogan Presidential Complex Now let us behold the splendor of the Aksaray, or the White Palace, nestled on a forested hilltop in Beştepe. Who's the lucky owner, you ask? None other than Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan himself. With a whopping 1,050 rooms to explore, you might need a map just to find your way around. But hold on, because here come the jaw-dropping stats. The Aksaray surpasses both the White House in Washington and the legendary Palace of Versailles, near Paris in size. It's a giant among giants, ruling the roof with sheer magnificence. And, and let's talk numbers. This magical masterpiece comes with a hefty price tag of 1.37 billion Turkish lira, or $615 million. But trust us, it's money well spent. With sumptuous marble corridors and atriums fit for royalty, every inch of the Aksaray is adorned with intricate designs and opulent decorations, making it a true architectural marvel. But it's not just about the aesthetics. The White Palace is also a fortress of secrets and security. With high-tech systems to fend off electronic eavesdropping, even the walls won't spill the beans on presidential affairs. It's a combination of architectural beauty and state-of-the-art security features, making the Aksarai an unparalleled symbol of power and prestige. 7. India's Draupadi Murmu Rashtrapati Bhavan. All right, buckle up for the ultimate tour of New Delhi, where President of India Draupadi Murmu resides in the swankiest crib ever, the iconic Rashtrapati Bhavan. This place is like a wild mashup of a mansion, an office, and a garden paradise. Worth a staggering $539 million, this sprawling 320 acres of pure presidential awesomeness is practically a city within a city, right in the heart of the capital. There's the president's official pad, where all the big decisions are 
resume decked out with furniture fit for royalty. And don't forget about the offices where all the important stuff goes down on the daily. And oh, the gardens, they're like a fairy tale wonderland. From Mughal gardens to herbal gardens, spiritual gardens, and even a musical garden. We wouldn't be surprised if the president has secret jam sessions with the peacocks there. But let's dive into a bit of history, shall we? Before it became the president's epic pad, Rashtrapati Bhavan was the viceroy's house, where the British big shots used to hang out. But once the British left, a bit of Indian magic was sprinkled on it, transforming it into a palace of grandeur. And now drumroll, please, get ready to be astounded by this palace's size. Four floors of pure luxury and a whopping 340 rooms that could easily give Hogwarts a run for its money. This place is truly a sight to behold. But wait, here's the best part. Even us regular folks can live the presidential dream or at least peek into it. Rashtrapati Bhavan houses a museum that's open to everyone. You can stroll through the halls and soak in the beauty of this presidential residence. 